we look at computer program intended to control and monitor HPC series motor controller parameters. In main window, we do see monitor, which shows uh, most important actual motor and controller parameters. At the moment, uh, they are not displayed because controller is switched off. And if we switch it on, actual parameters will be displayed. It's worth noticing that these parameters are updated sufficiently frequently with sufficiently high speed, with low level of integration. So you should expect that they change dynamically according to actual situation. As you can see, they uh, change with sufficiently high speed. This is normal for this controller and for this program. At lower line, we can see actual state of some inputs and some functions. First letter indicates turning direction. In this case, it is forward direction. If we activate a reverse switch, it will change to respectively letter R, indicating that now controller will turn motor into opposite direction. Similarly, if we apply brake signal, it also appears on monitor, monitor screen. And also, for example, we can activate cruise control. As you can see, it also appears, indicating that this signal is being activated. Slightly higher in red line, we can see error messages which are displayed if some error appears. For example, if we switch off supply voltage, we will do it now. After some time when actual supply voltage falls, you can see that respective message appears about error, with, which in this case is low voltage and shutdown. In other cases, if other errors happen, respective message is being displayed in this red line. Now, next important thing is regarding parameter settings and, and their uh, storage. To set new parameters and store them, uh, one important thing is necessary to obey. That is, uh, controller supply should be switched off and on, because exactly at this time, set parameters are being transferred to controller. You, you may update parameters uh, as, as you want, but they will be transferred to controller just uh, in case when power supply switches on and then off. In this case, we see that power supply is on, we will switch it off. Monitor screen is very useful for this because it will show you when actually controller loses power when it stops stops showing any any numbers and uh, now when we switch it on again previously set parameters will be transferred to controller and will become active now about actual parameters uh, most important of them is uh, control mode here we can see three options which select motor control mode one is torque control and uh, another is power control and the third one is speed control this defines what actual parameter is proportional to speed throttle signal. Is it either torque or speed or power as combination of previous two? 
this is one of basic settings and user should set this accordingly to his personal needs. Uh, to the left side of uh, this we can see a setting which is intended to uh, control how motor starts. By default it is set that accelerator should be at zero position for, for motor to start. In other words if it is set at some different position uh, not zero then motor will not start until accelerator is released to zero and just then if it's activated again motor can start uh, another option lower is that uh, when we switch power on if, con if uh, speed throttle is at some active position and this active position is changed to either side to, to, to higher or to lower then regardless of that zero signal motor will, will activate and it will start running uh, to the right side we see uh, option to select auto hold which is intended to keep uh, constant speed now in the next step we see that uh, default direction can be selected will it be positive or forward or reverse depending on actual construction of, of uh, electric drive and on the right side we see two parameters which uh, influence uh, speed metering namely they are wheel diameter and gear ratio depending on these parameters will be displayed uh, the vehicle speed in the monitor window well next we see battery tap here we can see settings for respectively feedback or regulatory braking current and voltage that is max current which can happen at, at regulatory uh, braking and the uh, max voltage to which battery may be charged uh, next battery is for parameter revision we will not go into detail here at the moment and the next battery, the next tab is to choose accelerator type. By default, it's a whole type uh, speed speed handle, throttle handle, and it may be also as a three wire or two wire resistance. Uh, exact connection of these options is shown in controller manual. Lower, we can see. Uh, adjustment for regulation speed regulation characteristic either linear adjustment or index adjustment in one case uh, characteristic will be linear in other case it will be according to the index of, of turn angle or as it's being said in some other cases hyperbolic characteristic at the right side we see parameters that define by voltage here they are expressed in millivolts they define speed characteristic starting and ending point initial millivolts and final millivolts first of them relates to, to zero point in speed scale and second number relates to 100 percent in speed scale and third parameter is protection threshold it is higher than, than final and it is intended to recognize dangerous situation when something is going wrong because usually speed signal shouldn't get too high but it, if this happens then this threshold is set that to activate, to activate that protection now let's go further uh, here we can see some motor parameters namely motor pole pair number which is again mainly intended to count motor turning speed uh, lower we can see motor temperature setting which limits uh, 
motor temperature to, to, to the number that can be set by user and lower we can see some settings for uh, contactor coil voltages for respectively line contactor, fan contactor and reverse contactor. To the right side we see setting uh, for motor type. Generally it can be different motor types but actually this controller is intended to work with the ODC motor so the setting doesn't uh, actually make any influence. And lower we may see setting for forward and reverse going uh, this degree of set. Next up is for controller parameters. Here we can see max DC or bus current, uh, then max duration of phase current, then the very max phase current, and then we can see four settings for voltage limits. First is for the highest voltage allowable for controller to work. And the uh, next three voltages are first to limit speed to 50%, then lower setting to 15%, and finally to switch controller off, shutdown, low shutdown voltage. To the right side we see maximum settings for turning speed for RPMs, respectively for forward and reverse direction. And then we see four parameters related to uh, motor control dynamics. Uh, they are some of uh, feedback, uh, some of feedback parameters that are used to, to control motor behavior and time and they are related to motor control mode, uh, which we have uh, mentioned previously, and depending on what control mode you use, you may need to change these parameters. Uh, and finally, its acceleration rate in expressing RPMs per second. 